writes a prescription for a supplement. Not a drug, a supplement. Over 90% of the time, it's going to be for this particular substance. No, it's not vitamin C. It sure isn't something like pine bark. It's not even a multivitamin. It's calcium. You've got this prescription now. What do you do? These days, more and more people are actually turning to the internet to get more information before they spend their hard-earned money. Let's see what they can find. 72 million hits? Wow, there's a lot out there. But how reliable is this information? Let's take a look. We all know that calcium is important for strong bones and teeth, and there are many different ways to get the calcium you need. Calcium carbonate is basically chalk. Did he say that this calcium was chalk? Calcium carbonate is basically chalk. Calcium carbonate is basically chalk. Wow, that doesn't sound very good. Let's take a bit of a closer look. Let's see what really goes into making calcium supplements. Is it just chalk? Not just chalk. It actually gets a bit worse than that. Let's look at some of the more common sources of calcium supplements. Dolomite is a mineral, and like most minerals, it's dug up from the ground. It's no wonder we don't absorb this calcium very well. Crushed up oyster shells is another source. Keep in mind that oysters are filter feeders, so whatever toxins make it into the water, make it into the oyster. What about coral? Sounds natural and beautiful. But besides also being a filter feeder, the coral is less likely to come from an environmentally protected reef and more likely to come from polluted waters. The crushed up bones of dead farm animals is also a very common source of calcium supplements. I think I'll just leave that one alone. Let's change our approach. Let's see which foods are good sources of calcium. After all, getting our nutrients from food is always the best idea. Vegetables are important, but not that easy. Gotta eat a lot of spinach. Finally, we've all heard since we were kids that milk and cheese were excellent sources of calcium, but not everyone is a fan of milk for a whole bunch of different reasons. Let's stick with this milk idea for another minute. Milk is actually our very first source of calcium, and it remains the most soluble and absorbable form of calcium we have. What if we were able to just get the calcium and minerals out of the milk and forget about the rest? Start with happy, healthy, free grazing cows, get fresh whole milk, but of course, try to ensure that the cow's exposure to toxins and drugs is minimized. Remove the fat and the fat-soluble toxins. Remove the water and the water-soluble toxins. Remove most of the lactose. What's left? A remarkable substance called a milk mineral complex. What's found in a milk mineral complex? Of course, calcium, but also vitamin D, magnesium, phosphorus, potassium, iron, copper, zinc, all of these essential for healthy bone growth. Now why would nature design something with these specific components? Because if you look at human bone and examine its mineral components, you'll find that a milk mineral complex contains almost identical elements. You sure won't get that with something like calcium carbonate. Absolutely fascinating. But does that mean that milk mineral complex actually works to strengthen bone? In laboratory tests, a milk mineral complex was clearly superior to calcium carbonate supplementation in its ability to resist bone breakage. Clearly, the calcium from a milk mineral complex is your best source of calcium. So until next time, now.